Recently here at Thomas Road, we've been walking through a series called You Asked For It. And one of the big questions that a lot of people were asking is, how do I raise godly children? And part of that conversation was one in which we discussed, how do you raise a prodigal? How do you reach out to someone, a child who's walked away from God? But I also recognize and understand that a lot of times in life, the walking away from God of a child, sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes there's a child who really is committed in their faith, walking with God and serving God, and yet they have a parent or they have a sibling, a brother or sister, who is not walking that same path, walking away from God and not living out the faith that we know and hold so dear. So what do we do there? Like, what is our response in that kind of a situation? How do we continue to be the godly connection, that godly witness to try to make a difference on a parent, to try to make a difference on a, a sibling. Well, here's what we do. What we must do, number one, is we must always be the right example day by day. You have to make sure that what you say matches up with how you live. If your mom or your dad or a sibling, they watch you, they're looking at you and they're seeing you and, and they see you like on Sunday morning saying the right things. They see you on Sunday morning like showing up and, and being very active in your church. But then during the week, they see a person that's totally different. They see language that's coming out of your mouth or they see things that you're doing, places that you're going that don't line up with a, a normal faith journey then what they're naturally gonna do is they're gonna label you as a hypocrite, they're gonna label you as someone who doesn't have value in what you have to say. Now, first and foremost, the only way we can truly reach a parent or a sibling or a friend who's walking away from God is for us to have a deep and a committed and a serious walk in our own lives with Christ. We have to make sure that Sunday through Saturday we are living out our faith as an example, as a model of what it means to be a Christ follower. And then, secondly, what we must also do is we must continue to, in love, speak truth. We have to make sure that with our moms and dads that, that we have to recognize and understand that they have a responsibility for us. We are connected to them whether we like it or not. And as a result of that, we need to show them respect and show them love even when they disagree with what we have to say. So we show them in love, we, we treat them with respect, we honor them, we, we do what we can to build a relationship with them, even if it's a relationship that is outside of a faith journey from the context of a witness and a testimony, but rather just having the kind of relationship that a mom and a dad should have with their child. And then what that allows you to do, it allows you to open a door. Because when they see you acting with respect, when they see you treating them with respect, rather than treating them with contempt, they're much more likely to listen to hear what you have to say. And so with that relationship that's strong, that relationship that is an honorable one, a respectful one, then the third thing that we must do is we must always pray for and look for the open door. God will always give us open doors. God will give us opportunities. And sometimes when we least expect them, Maybe it's in a crisis in life. Maybe it's in a situation where uh, there's hurt and there's anguish, there's, there's brokenness that goes beyond this, but it gives us this opportunity to even say, hey, can I pray for you? You know, is there something that, that I can do for you to help you? Can I, can I pray for this situation? And so we have to look for, but we also have to pray that God would open the right doors at the right time. And then by the way we've been living, we'll have the opportunity of walking through those doors. Ultimately, what it comes down to is this, earning the right to be heard, letting them see in you a person who is walking with God, honoring their faith, honoring their relationship with God every single day so that when the door opens, when the opportunity arises, that you will be someone that they listen to. And you can only do that by being faithful in your walk, faithful in your talk, and faithful in your call to reach others with the gospel of Jesus Christ.